We have a new reel up on our feed. I would love for you to go take a look at it and watch it. It was fun to make. Of course, Deb always makes me laugh and I was cracking up. Um, it is with Super Beats Heart Chews. I've shared them before. We have uh, taken them for probably two months now. We love them. They are delicious, number one. Number two, they help maintain uh, blood pressure. Number three, they give you a little boost of energy. I reached out, my code used to only be 15% off. Now they upped it to 20. So tap through my link here, use my code DND for 20% off site wide. I just looked out the window and I'm like going, I can't, like I cannot believe. I just cannot believe how they can stand up on that roof and not be scared. They are making so much progress, so I will share that uh, a little bit later. I also shared a quote yesterday morning, and I was going to elaborate on that, and I never did, but I'm going to type that here on the bottom of the screen. I know that I skip around, but as we've said so many times, it is just there's just so much that I could talk about that I don't think I can get it in chronological order because you just things pop up and you remember. That quote reminded me of something that I told myself all the time after it happened. So when you know that we sent her to rehab and when we did, um, she was in a detox for two weeks and then she was in rehab for three months. And then after rehab, she was in a halfway house. So she was there and like one of the requirements there was to get a job by a certain time. Well, she had called me and she said that she has been looking everywhere and couldn't find a job and um, that she was going to get kicked out. And basically she had nowhere to go. And she told me this on a Thursday. As a mom, you want to rush and try to figure out how and where she could get a job. And I said, this is up to her. Like I kept telling myself, this is up to her to find a job. It's not me. If I need a job, I go out on my own. Nobody helps me. So she needs to go find a job. And Thursday, I was so stressed out. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were actually pretty much ruined because my anxiety was sky high. Monday came around and I was so anxious and I called her and I said, did you ever find a job? Did you ever find a place to live? And she said, wait, is today the day? I'm like, <laughs> this is what that quote means. If you are working harder for someone else than they are for themselves, you're enabling. Like I said, I was not do actively doing anything to help her, but my life was affected by her decisions that she didn't even think a second thought over. So I finally started saying things like, if she doesn't care, she's homeless. Why should I really care? Like I, I have a home that that's kind of how I had to deal with it. And I'm only sharing this because the number one question that I got on all of those, um, on that little question box was how do I know if I'm helping or if I'm enabling, because there is a fine line that you have to walk. And these are just some examples I just figured I would share in case I mean and this doesn't even have to be with addiction this can be with kids that you have in your home that you feel like you're doing all the work in their lives and they are. so that kind of also answers the question of how I got through it I've, I've told you several other um, things that I did but I had to keep telling myself it is not my life it's not my life it's her life um, she can can't tell me what I'm going to do with my life and I can't tell her what she's going to do with her life. 
I can't tell her who she's going to hang out with, who she's going to marry, where she's going to work, what career she's going to have. That all lumps in with boundaries and figuring out that it's not your life. If this is what they want for their life, then so be it. It's not my first choice, but it's also not my choice. I also walked around a lot saying um, out loud, mind your business, mind your own business. I remember saying that all the time. Mind When I would think, well, I wonder if she did mind your own business. It's none of my business. She's capable of making decisions. She knows what right from wrong is. And if she chooses the wrong path, it's none of my business. And one more thing on this topic. I just got a text from her. She said, I just took my last exam for school and she just walked out of the school for the last time. And she said, it is, I just cannot believe my life and that I am going to be an RN. She has her state to take yet, but she's so smart. So she'll be fine. I'm going to get all of those plants. Well, hopefully, hopefully all of them, Deb. <laughs> I want to plant uh, some of them in here and then I will show you this area once we get it done. I just posted a new reel with the update. Um, I'm going to show it all here in a little bit. So they got a lot done again. I know it's not shocking, but I'm going to link the post here. Check it out. All right, here's the update. <laughs> It is so fun to watch because it is like a puzzle. Um, like I would have never thought that they would put the chimneys on first. They put these up first. They put this one, then this one, and they left this one so they could get some materials up through there. And then they did the middle one. And then they started on these chimneys. There's the second one. So they got, let's go in through the garage. They got um, all of this plywood up here. I don't think that was up last night. Like I showed you in the reel, they got all of these steps on. This will go to storage up here in an attic above the garage. This will, like I said, be the storage area above the garage. And that somebody asked me if these steps go all the way to the other upstairs. They don't. It only comes up here. And then there's a the second floor and we'll go in to see that. First off, I wanted to show you this. They got the fireplace framed in on the kitchen side. So this will be the see-through one to the dining room. So they got that done. They also got the fireplace in the master framed in right here that was not done and then i'll show you what they got done upstairs last night they no you stay down there you stay down last night they didn't have these top steps on so when you get up here this is the bathroom the door is going to be on this side but I think the soaker tub was supposed to be here, toilet there, and vanity here, but I think I'm going to redo so the soaker is here. I think it'll give it more room. And then there obviously will be a wall here. So this will be a bedroom. The closet is there. And then this will be like storage. And then they each bedroom up here has this little dormer, which I love. So there's three dormers on the outside. Bedroom, that's the bathroom up here. And then here is the other bedroom, closet, and dormer. And then this will be stairway, railing, and then railing all the way down. So it'll be open all the way up to here. The stairway will be open all the way up. They got a ton done. Um, next they're going to finish upstairs. I don't know. Supposedly next week's plumber and a